I wake up about um, five, 5.30 or 6 o'clock. After we wake up, do some meditation and do some chanting and perhaps some exercise. I guess the best part about um, being a monk is having this uh, kind of like a freedom and a cooling sensation that you get when you um, have a very contented and a simple mind. You don't have to um, don't have to worry about too many things. Just concentrate on your uh, meditation practice. There comes about a sense of uh, purity and uh, joy. These books are a collection of Buddhist scriptures that were translated into Chinese. There's Da Zan Jing, which means great collection or store of scriptures. And this uh, symbol here is the, um, the practical side of Buddhism, which is the, the Noble Eightfold Path. There's eight spokes, represent the eight footsteps of the path, so to speak, of the um, Noble Eightfold Path leading to liberation. For a monastic, the uh, right livelihood is not hinting, not asking and um, begging for food, but rather to receive food in a blameless matter which is not um, causing people trouble. And so for a monastic, going on arms round is our um, right livelihood in that we, we don't harm other people, we don't um, cause trouble for other people, but just allow people to, to give to us if they wish. I guess I became a monk because I began to realize the the suffering which um which involves being in the world. You know, people are just doing the same thing. Everyone just does the same thing. And they um, grow up, go to school, uh, go to university, uh, graduate, have a family, uh, pay off a mortgage, uh, retire, and then, and then uh, do something like play golf with them uh, in their retirement and then uh, have grandchildren and then pass away. Um, everyone is doing this, this is going round and round and round in this perpetual um, cycle of um, what it seems like a, uh, won't come to an end. For my life I was looking for something but not knowing what it really was and then when I found Buddhism it's kind of like a, kind of like finding a long lost friend. Where you finally got the information for the the um, Chinese man Well, I guess uh, the goal of Buddhism is to have, uh, or is to be liberated. And I guess uh, many people have different ideas about what is liberation. What is one being liberated from is the question. First of all, when we become a monastic, we renounce the world. And that's the very first step. The next step is renouncing our mind. Nibbana literally means going out. So what is going out? The flame is going out, flame of craving. And when, when the flame goes out, there's no way you can say that the flame has gone. Um, the ending of everything, the ending of, um, the ending of rebirth, the ending um, of um, consciousness. Consciousness comes to cease and then one doesn't have to experience suffering anymore because there is no more attachment to anything in the world. Mm -hmm.